Well, historic home lovers get ready for a very unique opportunity. Next weekend, you can tour the town of Boston, Georgia. And here to talk about that today, Sandy Shaw and Ann McCrickard from the Boston Historic Tour Committee. Good morning to both of you ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, thank you so much for joining us today. And Sandy, your home is actually going to be on tour this weekend. That's right. Is this the first for you, or do you do this every year? Or? <laughs> I would. It's like getting ready for a wedding. I feel like uh, I'm exhausted from making sure that it's going to be beautiful and welcoming to everybody. And uh, we probably do it every three or four years so people can be excited about coming back to Boston. Yeah, you have to have everything in tip-top condition, it huh? Is. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And, and just tell us why, you know, this is so significant. Why is Boston such a historic town? Why is Boston a historic town? I think Boston has done um, a a really good job of preserving mm -hmm. the feel of a small rural town, which is what we are. Um, the community is, is proud of our town, and um, the Historic Preservation Committee, which Sandy chairs, has done an excellent job um, of, of restoring um, folks' ideas, I think, about what uh, historic preservation should be in a small town. And how many homes are going to be on display? The during the weekend? There are 10 sites, ten. four homes, uh, three churches, the uh, old city hall, which is circa 1875, and um, is actually the focal point of, of the um, uh, project because the proceeds from the tour will be used in the stabilization and renovation of the old city hall. Our Carnegie Library will okay. be on the tour. And I think that's it. Yeah. And Sandy, this is all for a good cause. You're letting people into your home for a good cause. Yes. Just tell people why they should come. Well, it's, um, it, Boston represents a turn of the century from the 19th to the 20th century town, almost completely intact. And we have, um, uh, one of the things that we're doing is we're going to open some jail cells from 1875 that are on the back of the, the old town hall built in 1875 and kids will never forget that wow. it's a part of america that almost doesn't exist one of the things that we're letting people know is that the entire town of boston is on the national register of historic places and that is a huge honor the entire and town the entire town and that's because we have this wonderful downtown which is almost completely accurately preserved back to 1900 and so I hope everybody comes. It'll be, uh, there's uh, free refreshments in the middle of the day. Um, tickets are $20 in advance, and Anne has a list of where they are, and 25 at the door, and it will be a day of just joy. And I want to mention one other thing. We have a quilt show that will be at the Primitive Baptist Church, which was built in 1906. And we have over 60 quilts that are going to be just on display, and they have been done by local um, quilters. And we also have quilt banners that the local quilters have made. There's 16 of them that worked to create these original pieces of art, and they're hung on the downtown Main Street in the historic district. Oh, great. It sounds like a wonderful time. I it think is. so. <laughs> it <laughs> is. Please we, come. Yes. yes, we want folks to come. Uh, just report in at the community center on Main Street Okay. Uh, to turn in your tickets and get your uh, map and ID. It is a self-guided tour. Okay. Well, and we're running out of time here, but we'll put all the information on our website. Right. And remember that it's Thank for you. a great cause. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And for more information on the historic tour of Boston, just head to our website, WTXL.TV.